Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter. Where last time we kicked the crap out of. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard life, Augustus. Just casually stretching. Casually stretching. Uh, we've. <laughs> completely derailed me there. We fought the Egyptians over here. With our good friend, Herius Calvius. Calvisius. Sabinus. I'm never gonna get that name right. But we fought over here with him. Killed a general. It was hilarious because he rode away and got hit in the back with lots of pila. But now they've got two more armies over here. However, the thing we want to deal with is Juba. Juba here is making an inconvenience of himself because he's hanging out around Carthage with a big army. And it's a big army that we're not really all that well equipped to fight because lots of cavalry and lots of skirmishes. So basically, the army that will never get anywhere close to our mashup of an infantry line that just kind of, you know, buzzsaws its way through everything. Which was the Roman strength, really. So completely accurate. However, it's not a strength that's really going to serve us fighting this guy. So what we're going to do is basically swamp him with numbers. So if we can't beat him in, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat, he'll get, probably go, oi, fuck it, and leg it. But, how to do this? Can you reach? No. Can you reach? Ha ha! Superior naval power. This, Space bar. Superior naval power. General. God, I love it. Take that, Carthage. Okay, so... I want Tertius to be in on this. So... How about you go there? March. We might have to fight both these armies at the same time. Oh, great. Even more of the same. Okay. Uh, well, Augustus, you're going to stay here and hold the fort. What can we get? Ooh. I'm going to trade. You guys go away, and you guys go away. You served me faithfully, but I need fresh ones. Hell yes. Okay. Now your mission is to go here. Like that. And the reason I uh, left Augustus besieging Carthage is because if you don't, then the garrison can sally forth. I don't want them to be part of this battle because it's already going to be large enough as is. So you are going to go. I wonder if he can get in there. Let's try. Attack. Ha ha! We have you now. Alright, so our 4,400 odd men against his almost 3,000. Juba. Juba, old son. You're fucked. <laughs> At least I hope he is. That's the plan. Okay, so we didn't drag in that other guy. I don't know why, because it looked like he was within the, the border. But we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that army when we need to. I'll listen to him. He's earned it. I have fought many a foe in open combat. I come to fight today. Who stands with me? Today we face the mighty Carthaginians. Brave men and worthy foes. Not meant to cheer that one, guys. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. That's the bit you meant to cheer. We outnumber them by a small margin. From such small beginnings are great victories crafted. That said, their skills and training are formidable. More than force will be needed today. Tactical savvy at all levels is required. <laughs> right. Bravery among our foes yep. will not be enough to counter our elephants. They lack skirmishers to do the job properly. They've got an entire fucking many army of the things. I face this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. Hooray. Great. Swell. Today we make our own fates. The omens may say that we face disaster, but I choose to think differently. Can any true man do otherwise? Be of good heart, for within the day, reinforcements will reach us. I have one within the day, they're not starting with us. Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on! And know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Despite the fact that I believe over half the army is actually mercenary. Nice. Okay. Well. 
Well, well, well. Uh, okay, if our friends are not starting with us, that could be problematic. Um, Alright, well, infantry. Make forward line, obviously. Uh, elephants. Left? Yeah, left seems good. And I want the warband on this side. Now, you guys, except you. 39 Velites? Damn. I was hoping there were a few more than that, but obviously. I don't recall exactly what happened last time that this army fought. Which is unfortunate. Oh, right, the night battle. Yep, now I remember. It's been a day or two since I last uh, did this game. Okay. Uh, cavalry in the center, I think. Not really much point putting them anywhere. And Velites. Ugh, fuck, just sit back there. You're not really going to be of any use anyway. Okay, so these guys, they're basically here to just tarp hit the enemy, essentially. Same with this warband. They're here to flank guard and tarp hit the enemy. Now, I don't think our guys are going to show up, our reinforcements, because he said within the day. That usually means delayed. Yeah. Yep. Delayed. Is it? Yes. Reinforcements delayed. It may not arrive in time for the battle, so you must be prepared to fight on without them. Okay. Well, I think if we kill enough of these guys, the enemy, or we lose enough men ourselves, which is uh, a lot less enthusing, our, um, our reinforcements should show up. Uh, don't really want to send the elephants. Let's see if we can uh, convince them to do something by putting our cavalry out on the flank, sort of vulnerable-like. Come on, go. See if we can convince them into doing something stupid. Okay, they're reforming their lines. But they're not moving forward, they're just shifting slightly. Oh, hang on. Oh, here we go. Here comes somebody. General Sacred Band, you say? Let's see if we can't pot another general with Pillar. Yeah, one ought to do it. Come on. Okay, we're taking some of them down. Lob those Pillar. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Okay, we killed some of our own guys, but... The enemy general flees! Press forward so the spirit yeah. of his army No, 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 no. You need to stay in line. You, on the other hand, need to jump in there. You lob. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Fuck. Fuck it. Into him. God damn it. Okay, get back in line. And you, back in line. Uh, the warband can chase though. Actually, no, don't. Change my mind. You might not be top line troops, but I do still need you, and I don't want you getting hit by a friendly arrow fire. That that would be bad. It's right there under the definition of bad things that could happen. Okay, what are you? Libyan cavalry. Okay, well, this ought to be fun. You come within range, we'll pot shot you and. Ooh. Gallic lights. I'd say they're trying to get to these fellas going, ooh, hang on, they're right there, they're sitting there, out in the open, out in the open. And yes, they are, for that very reason. Okay, we could move forward. Try to bring their, their forward lines into range. That opens us up to bad, bad things with their artillery. So we're going to sit where we are for a bit. See if we can't just kill enough of them by long range shooting. Although... Yeah, I'm going to send the elephants in. What are you? I don't know. Let's hope it's something squishy. Right, I'm going to send the elephants in because hopefully if they run amok, which they probably will, because they're going to die, 
if they run amok or convince the enemy to do something stupid like charge my lines, we can probably get some collateral damage. Okay, I want the cavalry back over here now. You jump in there. Berber javelin men. Okay, they're going to run most likely as soon as we come anywhere close to hitting them, but we can roll up the line and start attacking those Libby Phoenicians. They're a much more valuable target. Although, that mercenary cav, if we can get these guys... No, we can't. Okay, let's see if we can get a rear charge. Ooh. Get the Libyans. No, kill the Libyans. Okay, there we go. They've got us a little bit tar pitted, but fortunately, elephants. Oh. They just broke. <laughs> they didn't actually kill anything. Uh, well, that went well. Okay, that wasn't quite as effective as I was hoping it would be. Ah. <sighs> But, that does rather, that does actually point out rather well how elephants were used in a lot of real life battles. They were either spectacularly effective, smacking through the center of enemy lines and such, or they were, were ridiculously un ineffective, you know, they just sort of didn't do anything. They were just there. Okay. New plan by necessity. The advance. This is not the plan I was hoping to use. But hopefully we can convince them to attack our squishy troops instead of our veteran useful troops. Because I'm hoping to take this army home one last time before we trigger the Marian reforms. If we can take them home one last time before the Marian reforms get triggered, then we can... Um, retrain them. They'll still get whittled down, but they'll be a bit more effective before we replace them completely with, with uh, legionaries. Okay. You guys aren't within range. Oh, hang on. Oh, unit routes. I was hoping it was going to be exciting and be like, your reinforcements are here. No such luck. Is it worth doing a charge? No, but while they haven't got their artillery up, I want to advance, see if we can't do a fair bit of damage. Don't you do it, game. Don't you do it. Perhaps. What the fuck are you doing? Be nice. I don't know why it hiccup there, but it did. Um, Warband, just advance a little bit. Swordsman, advance a little bit. Okay, we can hit something. Ah, uh, only the Numidians. Nothing really worth it. Oh well, it'll have to do. Okay, there's some Javelin men coming forward. They're nice and squishy, so we might be able to kill some of them. I want you guys to war cry. See if you can't scare the Jesus out of them. Now, kill them. Alright. Ooh, Gallic Swordsman on Gallic Swordsman. That could go either way, really. Okay, if we can break that unit, we might have the bastards. Ooh! Hit those guys. Your reinforcements Aha. have arrived! This is hopeful news indeed! Yes, it is. And the Gallic Swordsman are cutting the crap out of those guys. Nice! Oh, you guys already are on fire, Will. Alright, cavalry. Get over here. I have a use for you. Ow. Those Berber Javelin men are doing a bit of work over on these guys. But, 
They're doing their job. They're pinning them in place. Oh. Oh, that is cheating. That is cheating. Cavalry, new job. Get the fuck over here. You guys, no shooting. Hmm. Where are the Iberians? I kind of need you guys. Where'd you go? Come here. Cavalry, just keep going. If we can wipe out the Iberians, uh, not the Iberians, the uh, the regular, uh, the Berbers, dirt, completely losing the ability to actually focus on what I was talking about and get it right. Uh, if we can take out the Berber javelin men, or at least some of them, most of them would be preferable, but some of them I will settle for. If we can take out most of them, and we'll have the advantage when it, com when it comes to uh, clashing with this army again. Come on. Kill. Good job. Alright, go. These guys are running, right? Yeah, they are. Okay. Should have taken out most of the ballista. Just finish them off by chucking if you can. Come on. Chuck. Nice. Okay, chuck some more. Oh, you're out of chucking stuff. No, chuck. You guys winning? Sort of. Wait, what? No. Damn fools. You're not meant to run in there, you idiots. When I said attack something, I didn't mean them. I'm nuts. Oh well. Okay, you guys. Come finish these fellows off. Yes, we're letting most of their army go, but in a strategic sense, this was a fine victory. And we can probably follow it up. We can probably attack them again. So how much did we actually kill? We did get 53%, which will, drive them from the <clears throat> which will probably go up a little bit by the time we're done. Hopefully. You know what, that ballista is the more important thing. Take that out. So we can deal with short range firepower, it's the long range stuff that we haven't really got ourselves equipped to take out, which is kind of my fault, I should have been building more siege equipment. But generally I avoid building stuff like uh, ballista, scorpions, those sort of things, because generally your army can compensate for weaknesses like that, but in this case I forgot that Rome is very very infantry focused, and if you don't have something that can take that stuff out, you're in a bit of trouble. Where's... oh, that. Alright, speed that up. So we killed about 60% of their force. No? 55. It was right. And we lost... oh, not too bad. Not bad. Did we get many of them back? Did we get anyone back, actually? We got some Gallic Warband guys back, that's good. We lost half our Gallic Swordsman unit. Acceptable. Most of the Hastadi and that came back. So that's a plus. The Iberians lost 23 men. They're getting to the point where it's kind of not going to be feasible to keep them combat active. Oh well. It's doing alright. We're doing alright. All things considered. Victory! Hmm. I have to send somebody round there. Imperator. Can we attack him? Attack. Yes. Victory. Okay, he, he went away. Can we do the exact same thing we just did? Where's Boatman? There he is. Joining the fleet, sir. Boatman, can you... Set sail. Damn it. Out of can you just march sir. off there? General. Oh hey, we got an elephant back. 
No, you can't. Shit. Okay, what about you? Okay, you can. Yeah, we'll have to do it that way instead. I can work with this. Let's not for a second, though. Save. I guess I could have done that in there. I didn't want to. What do we get? We got a heroic savior. Cool. General. Now, Juba. You, sir. Must die. He's got less than half of his original force left, according to the graph thing. Pretty sure he started out with 2,800 odd. So, this is an improvement. The sun has yeah, I don't care about your speech. You haven't done anything cool. Not yet. You may eventually. It's very infantry heavy. But then, I did sort of muster it and just send it straight up. Over here. So that we could begin uh, getting a bit of an upper hand in this conflict. I sort of wanted this war over a while ago. But then again, I didn't in, I didn't exactly ask for it. <laughs> they sort of forced my hand in that regard. They went, hey, we're attacking Malta. How do you feel about this? And I was kind of like, well, a little bit disgruntled, actually. I was just sitting over there getting ready to fight the Egyptians and fighting the Egyptians. And then you were all, hey, we've got an army. And I was like, oh, okay. Gods be praised. The reinforcements are here. Excellent. Send them to fight. Dishearten the enemy. I will. I will. This pleases me greatly. We don't have to wait for our damn reinforcements this time. They're already here. Perfect. Now, where are they coming in? Oh, on the flank. That is good. Okay, you can see my cavalry. You can't see my triarii. But you might not be obliging and charge through them. No, you're sort of changing your mind about this whole, this whole battle thing, aren't you? If you run away, I'm going to be very, very annoyed. That is going to be a general's bodyguard, I should think. And that there is probably the other one. Because we didn't, we didn't uh, get either of the generals last time. I want to wait for a bit, though. See if we can't uh, wait for them to come to us. Uh, our reinforcements, that is. See if we can't get them a bit closer before we engage. Wait, where am I? Oh, I was looking in the wrong spot. Oh, it's a building. It looks... It looked a bit like uh, the army was standing over near it too. But evidently not. Okay, so let's go around like this. And we'll wheel our infantry line like that. It's going to have a long way to go. Or at least some of them are. These guys on the end. But I think they can make it. So what's coming in the first wave? Velites, that sort of thing. Yeah. They're just going to keep doing this. So we're going to have to send our cavalry on a flanking mission. So that they sort of go, okay, well, we've, we've been surrounded. What the fuck do we do now? Guess we stand and fight. Velites head that way. Well, Velites and Italian skirmishers head this way. Infantry. Just keep wheeling with them. Cavalry. Get over there. Come on, go. Yeah. They're just going to keep doing this falling back business, I should think. Wait. Maybe not. Maybe they're committing now. Maybe they're going, okay, fuck, we have to fight them. I don't think he can actually retreat. I think that he's sort of stuck where he is now. The uh, enemy commander. Okay, they're, they're probably hoping they can get us before our infantry all gets into position, but unfortunately for them, I don't give a shit about those guys. They can die. They're doing their jobs. They are skirmishers. They are there to get killed. 
we can decimate this cavalry and such. Whoa, wow, they won. They won fighting cavalry. Nice. Okay, do it again. You guys went on skirmish. I'm not a clever man. Wow. Did, did they just do it again? No. Surely not. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Pour it on, pour it on. Now, cavalry dudes, need you to turn around like that. You're going to go on a strike right into the middle of them. Or, wipe these guys out. No, I can't just chase those guys. You being cav. Alright, go. Get forward. Now hopefully these guys will not chase my cavalry or attack them. They'll be focused on these fellas. Or maybe we can catch them. Come on, charge. Ha ha! Okay, our superior heavy cavalry should see these guys off. What are you doing? Dudes. Okay, the Numidians are doing a bit of damage. Because apparently my cavalry don't know how to fight. What the fuck are you doing? I have no idea. Can you please get in here and fight the actual enemy? Thanks. I have no idea what the hell they thought they were doing there, but I didn't like it. Whatever it was. Okay. Got those guys. Now, take out these cavalry. I assume they're getting stuck on there thinking the corpses of the enemy are actual enemies. That's what I'm going to assume is happening. Really? Okay, well, let's see if we can't help these Italian skirmishers. Just hit them in the hit them in the flank. See what they do. They might not do anything. Perhaps this is not a time to have a hiccup. Huh. I guess that's what they do. Okay, we didn't get the generals again. They ran already. Apparently. Equites, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you... This is why I don't like having the AI command my armies. Because they do stupid shit like that. Oh, don't. 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 You've already killed one cavalry unit. Don't kill the other. The enemy general flees! Oh. Oh, he didn't the run enemy away. The general is slain! And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Take that, Juba. Oh, God. You, you ruined a cavalry unit. You ruined a perfectly good cavalry unit, AI. I hope you're pleased. You just killed off an entire 80-man cavalry. I'm not sure whether to be impressed or depressed. The oh no. Army is in flight. We are killing them all. At least you didn't the kill a general. That, that would have been really depressing. I, I, I just don't know exactly what, what the AI thought it was doing there, but uh, I really don't like it. You guys need to get in here before they decide to throw something else at these guys and get it killed. I know they're routing now, but it would be just my luck that they suddenly decide, actually, no, we're in this one, and they turn around and fight me. It would be especially annoying if it happened within range of whatever, whatever missile units these guys have. Slingers. 
Yeah, slingers, uh, slingers are armor-piercing. They could easily kill the general just by shooting at him. 